Namaste. This is the WIT News and I'm Kohinoor Shrestha. The Diowak Institute of Technology marked the graduation of class of 2022 uh, on the 16th December 2023 with a celebratory ceremony at its premises. Mr. Vijay Babu Regmi, the Associate Academic Head, comments the event by congratulating the graduates and warmly welcoming the parents. Uh, notably, DWIT's tradition of inviting the batch toppers' parents as the chief guest added a personal touch to the ceremony. The ceremony featured recognition of outstanding achievements by uh, awards such as batch topper, semester topper, best project, and outstanding leaderships. Students shared their four year experiences, which also added personal touch to the ceremony. The campus chief, Mr. Hitesh Karki, then gave a conclusion. Uh, speech by expressing pride in the graduates' accomplishments. The day was concluded with a joyous lunch and cutting of the graduation cake, symbolizing the end of chapter uh, and the beginning of another for class of 2022. Now, let's hear a word from the parents. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Congratulations on your graduation. Thank so, you. basic questions are your time um, about something that you feel proud as um topic is for like like pura journey ma something that a proud moment to take you by because as a good din sabanda mere chora ko proud days din ho. Ab kunche parents the amlo chora ko yo graduation day ma khushi na hola. Ami teshe din khushi song. Ami sab parivar khushi song. Ali ami. Cyrus को बाबा मम्मी आए पर उसको दीदी आए ये जो होल फैमिली खुशी चाहूं और अब साइरस को फ्यूचर को बनी सुबह काम रहती है चांस और साथ ही यहाँ आज ग्रेजुएट होने संपूर्ण यो टीम लाई डेयरवर्क टीम लाई सुबह काम ना रहा फ्यूचर को लागी उज्जल भविष्य को काम ना करने चाहूं अन्य और को क्वेश्चन से हाजिर यहाँ को अब सब एक पूरा रूप सिस्टमेटिक व्यवस्थित डेवलप को अब यो पढ़ाई हर दिन ले रहा सब यहाँ पर इंटरनेशनल लेवल को मिल पाए क्यों बना पे और कुछ नहीं करा किसने डेवलप में पढ़े पसी अब ये वाला जॉब को गारंटी पे नहीं आया कोई तो प्लस पॉइंट पे मिल पाए ते बार साइड रोज़ लेबनी अब अलग ये वाला काम करी नहीं रहा है सा और ये त्यान नानू वाले बंदा हैरी बनी सब ये जाना चाहिए ये वाला ये वाला फील्ड में काम करी रहने बाको ये सुन न पायो तो धेरे अत्यंत खुशी के पुरा सा रामरो चीफ सार लेबनी मन्नु वो कि नेपाल में क्यों उन्हें � Hello, good afternoon. Congratulations on your graduation. So, basic questions are your time. Um, as a student, also, would like to do work song of experience cost the world. Memorable, learning, and it is really full of joy. And also, like pain song, let's say, do work experience cost the world. Ek damai ram ro, very good. First, my the confident level, when uh, gradually grow gare, this will I am really very thank you very much for the. Institution, kena mana? Apa alikat introvert type ni tu? Yang aku jun club activities, dekat ada hari tulisnya, usko personal upah ni growth bagus, justru I realised. Terus ni thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Azur ko ani anything you want to say to the junior batches? Enjoy as much as possible. Ani harik activities ma participate gono. Kena ki your time gaya, bocci gaya. It will not come back. Ani very after kick a goal that throughout the years that I had to run my loan there is a the memories or got a bundle just on so to bundle create gone other you have to create memories the memories are activities for participate got it on a name so just enjoy as much as you can and live the fullest thank you thank you hello die as the die juniors of the graduating batch is there any message that you want to convey to the senior batch um, uh, first of all, congratulations to the graduating batch. Uh, it's been a long journey for them uh, due to COVID and everything. And uh, second of all, uh, best of luck for your futures. Uh, there are many things that I want to say, like um, um, like they have uh, the graduating batch has taught us directly or indirectly many things about how to t handle uh, the this course. This uh, four years or five years actually. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. So, as the direct junior batch, is there anything that you have learned from the graduating batch? Yes, I've learned a lot of things from them. Um, their leadership ability to be kind towards the juniors and just be very helpful and cheerful nature. 
Thank you, Dee. So another question for you is, can you describe the graduating batch in three words? In three words, okay, generous, welcoming, and very energetic. Thank you for your time, Dee. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. So, is there any message that you would like to convey to the graduating batch? Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, definitely. Um, actually, this the the batch of class of 20 will be the best batch till now that we have in DWIT. So, I wish them all the best for their future endeavors. Uh, most of them are uh, working in the reputed organizations after they recently graduated, and nothing more to say. But I wish them all the best. Thank you, sir. So the, another question is, how is your experience with the graduation ceremony happening right now? Uh, in DWIT, so this time, for the first time, as the batch of BCA and CSIT are being graduated together. Uh, so the organizations and all things were very good, in a, very well managed. And nothing to say, I want to thank all the volunteers uh, who were very helpful during this graduation ceremony. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The Dear Express Club hosted Dear Talk Finals for Class of 2026 on 22nd December 2023, showcasing the depth of thoughts of five amazing participants who had captivated audiences over months of formal session. Campus Chief Mr. Hites Karki and Ms. Sanjeev Nija were the judges for this final session. The engaging session began with topics ranging from History of Unsolved Mysteries presented by Samrat Nakami to Supersana Parazini's insights on not all that glitters is gold. Subsequently, Ashutosh Pudasaini, Ayush Thapalya, and Fenalin Pant delivered their uh, thought-provoking discussions. After the participants spoke, Mr. Hitesh Karki and Ms. Sanjeev Nija shared their insights, and ultimately, Samrat Nakami from Batch of 2026 CSIT was declared the winner. Our hierarchies work in human beings. Uh, in military schools, in colleges, in places. How, how does power work? Who commands who? How is that decided? Kivan University conducted second semester board examination of CSIT Batch 2026 from 28th November to 12th December 2023. After the completion of uh, CSIT board examinations, the CSIT students have already started their third semester from 19th December. However, TU has delayed the board exams of the parallel 2026 BCA batch, uh, due to which the students are left with uncertainty. Expressing frustration, BCA students are concerned about potential impacts on their graduation timeline, job placements, and future academic pursuits. Now let's move on to Rahul for more college updates. The Artisar Club hosted a bonfire event on December 7th. The fusion of music, dance, ontakshari, and aromatic momos contributed to an unforgettable evening filled with laughter and togetherness. On December 13th, the sports club organized a Jenga competition in which 12 teams compromising of 24 participants participated. Team Jito ultimately emerged as the winner of the event. The Dear Work Developer Community conducted a Security 101 workshop on December 16th with the primary objective of providing students with a comprehensive understanding on the field of cybersecurity. The hiking club con scheduled a one-day hike to Sivaguri for the badge of 2027. The objective was to create lasting memories and foster bonds within the badge of 2027. The software club on, on December 15th uh, conducted a bot's eye on IT industry event. The primary objective of this event was to provide a comprehensive understanding on the field of IT industry and the roles and opportunities in the field. Christmas is a cherished festival celebrated globally on 25th December. It's a special day for Christians remembering the birth of Jesus Christ. But it's also a time for families to get together, share gifts and feel joy. Traditions like decorating trees, exchanging gifts and sharing festival meals uh, bring families closer. The season is marked by acts of kindness and reflection on blessings. Festive music and anticipation of Santa Claus delight children while adults value the time spent with loved ones. Across cultures, Christmas resonates as a time of hope, unity, and gratitude. To celebrate this festival, the clubs of DWIT organized various events. Dear Work Literature Society, in collaboration with Dear Express Club and Music Club, organized Frosty Friday on 22nd December 2023. 
The highlight of the event was lively cake decoration competition that brought out the artistic skills of all the participants. After much contemplation, uh, Team Cheese from Batch of 2027 emerged as the winners. Likewise, Social Service Club in collaboration with Media Club organized Festive Fusion on 29th December 2023. The event included various exciting games, face painting, bonfire and delicious foods. Laughters were exchanged and memories were made as the evening unfolded. Now let's move on to see the scene where the students are uh, enjoying these celebrations. <laughs> A powerful earthquake of magnitude 6.2 hit the mountainous region of the northwest China on 19 December 2023. The earthquake occurred just before midnight and unfortunately 127 people were killed and over 700 people were injured. This is the deadliest uh, earthquake in China in the past nine years. 13 workers were killed and 46 were injured in a fire at Nickel Smeltery Furnace on Sulawari Island, Indonesia. The fire occurred where the workers repaired the furnace and installed the plates at 5.30 a.m. on 25th December, uh, killing nine Indonesian workers and four of the Chinese workers. Human Rights Watch HRW has criticized Meta, a company that uh, owns Facebook and Instagram for allegedly limiting the uh, contents supporting Palestine on these platforms. Also, HRW uh, has claimed that Meta has been deleting and uh, restricting the uh, posts that support the Palestines. Uh, China has successfully launched a su uh, spacecraft uh, three times since 2020. This recent launch which occurred on December 14 involved a reusable robotic spacecraft. The purpose of these launches is a bit secretive, but China claims that they are conducting orbi orbital tests flights to develop reusable technologies. NASA is offering people to send their names uh, billions of kilometers into the space. The uh, message in a bottle project allows us to engrave our name in the spacecraft Europa Clipper which would uh, is uh, approximated to reach Jupiter's orbits in, 30 year, in 2030. NASA's telecommunication and navigation system, Deep Space Network, celebrated its 60th anniversary on December 24. South Korean actor Lee Sun Kyun was found dead in a car in Salt Park. Circumstances are unclear, but he was accused of drug use since October. Prince Harry won his phone hacking lawsuits against the publisher of Daily Mirror and was awarded over £140,000 against the tabloids to go to trial. A minimum of, minimum of 160 individuals and over 300 sustained injuries as a result of assault by armed groups in Nigeria. Israeli forces killed two Palestinians on December 26 in a raid in a refugee camp. Back to you at the studio going to. For the festive season, we would like to wish you all a happy and prosperous new year 2024. That's it for the bulletin. Stay tuned for more.